Stone Ridge School of the Sacred Heart, Upper School. 92nd Annual Prize Day and Recognitions, May 29, 2020. Honor and glory to God alone. As we begin this Prize Day ceremony, we do so as we do all things here at Stone Ridge with prayer. With gratitude and joy, we remember God's infinite love. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, give me a heart that is one with your own. A humble heart that knows and loves its nothingness. A gentle heart that holds and calms its own anxieties. A loving heart that has compassion for the suffering of others. A pure heart that recoils even at the appearance of evil. A detached heart that longs for nothing other than the goodness of heaven. A heart detached from self-love and embraced by the love of God. Its attention focused on God. Its goodness is its only treasure in time and eternity. St. Madeline Sophie, pray for us. St. Rose Philippine Duchenne, pray for us. Janet Erskine Stewart, pray for us. And may the sacred heart of Jesus inspire us and guide us all our days. At the conclusion of each year, we honor students and the work they've done at our Prize Day ceremony. In a typical year, each of your names would be announced and you would process in pairs towards faculty and staff to collect a certificate confirming your completion of the academic year. It's at this moment where Mrs. Carrolls would look you in the eye, call you by your names, and offer a congratulatory handshake and smile. It's also a moment where you're able to thank Mrs. Carroll's and the school. This exchange can easily be overlooked in the context of an award ceremony. And Prize Day has the potential of being misrepresented as a ceremony where people collect accolades and rewards. Today though, I want you to take this moment to pause and to think about the rewards that you've already received throughout the year. You have been provided with a strong community that is grounded in faith and prayer. You have been gifted with talented and passionate teachers who have invited you to consider new ways of thinking and who have helped you and challenged you to reach further than you thought you could. You've been given the gift of encounter and conversion through service and social action. You've grown tremendously this year and no prize is more precious than that. Your work, our work, is nowhere near complete, but we've taken one step closer to reaching our potential by developing the gifts that God has given us so that we can be an example of God's love in this world. This is the prize. This is the gift of a Sacred Heart education. This year was an exceptional year, and I don't think I need to remind you as to why it was exceptional. But I do think it's important for me to note how exceptional you were throughout this year and in these times right now of, of uncertainty. Your spirit and joy filled the school as you opened the doors of sisterhood to a brand new class the Centennial class, 
of 2023. You wholeheartedly welcomed the Superior General of the Society of the Sacred Heart, along with members of, of the Society's General Council and provincial teams, a rare occurrence for any school. You practiced patience as our campus transformed and you adapted and wondered as we watched our school's future grow before our very eyes. You supported each other in times of defeat and victory, in moments of sorrow and joy, in failure and in success. You respectfully challenged each other to listen to differing point, viewpoints in a pursuit of understanding while working for the common good. You selflessly responded to the needs of our community and the world by staying home. And you leaned into discomfort and you learned to live in uncertain times. You demonstrated creativity during this time and you learned the values of vulnerability, connection, and faith. You have developed the courage and the confidence that Sophie exclaimed to be that important source in life. You embraced the operative word of goal four and you built community as an expression of our, as an expression and a statement of our Christian values. I am so proud of this community and I admire each and every one of you for the way that you have embraced the mission of our school. Congratulations to the members of the first, second, and third academic. You have successfully completed your courses of study for the 2019 and 2020 academic year. You will receive your certificates when we reunite in the 2020-2021 school year. Members of the fourth academic, you will receive your diplomas at the commencement exercises when we are able to safely gather in person. Each year, the upper school faculty nominates students who are recognized for their efforts towards giving life to the goals and criteria of Sacred Heart education. As we all know, schools of the Sacred Heart commit themselves to educate to goal one, a personal and active faith in God. Goal two, a deep respect for intellectual values. Goal three, a social awareness that impels to action. Goal four, the building of community as a Christian value. And goal five, personal growth in an atmosphere of wise freedom. The following students have been recognized for their commitment to goal one, a personal and active faith in God. First academics, Giselle Saunier and Sela Watkins. Second academics, Amelia Lawler and Katie Morano. Third academic, Caitlin Baltazar. Fourth academics, Maggie Barnage and Olivia Potter. The following students have been recognized for their commitment to goal two, a deep respect for intellectual values. First academics, Caroline Bailey and Holly O'Brien. Second academics, Ellie Bowman and Holly Keegan. Third academics, 
Lucia Arce Ermita, and Kate Walter. Fourth academics, Katie Muscatello and Talia Sater. The following students have been recognized for their commitment to goal three, a social awareness that impels to action. First academic, Grace Serafitis. Second academic, Becky Felker. Third academics, Grace Jackson and Claire Nickerson. Fourth academics, Mary DiMartino and Camilla Moore. The following students have been recognized for their commitment to goal four, the building of community as a Christian value. First academic, Preeti Kulkarni. Second academic, Michaela O'Connor. Third academics, Alex Phyllis and Megan Toner. Fourth academics, Caroline Hertzberg and Langley Stewart. The following students have been recognized for their commitment to goal five, personal growth in an atmosphere of wise freedom. First academics, Lily Moore and Janae C. Second academics, Samaya Flood and Gabrielle Hughes. Third academic, Randolph Kaminskis. And fourth academics, Claudia Blair and Celeste Covage. The Sacred Heart Awards. Since 1984, the students of Stone Ridge have awarded their own prize to a classmate. The Sacred Heart Award, awarded through the votes of the students, is merited by a student in each class who demonstrates those traits most valued at Stone Ridge. A genuine concern for other students and faculty, participation in school activities, a willingness to give of her time and energy to the community, and an enthusiasm for the goals of Sacred Heart education. The Sacred Heart Award is merited by the following students. First academic, Ileana Basson. Second academic, Michaela O'Connor. Third academic, Imani Chambers. And fourth academic, Rohi Kali. We have formally concluded the 2019-2020 academic year, and each member of the first, second, and third academic class has successfully met the requirements of the school. You are now promoted to the next academic level. Congratulations. We will next turn our attention to the members of the fourth academic who will conclude their time at Stone Ridge at their commencement ceremony when it is deemed safe to return to campus. All recognitions for program completion departmental awards, and student speeches will take place during these commencement exercises. We look forward to honoring the class of 2020 and recognizing their contributions to the life of the upper school over the past four years. But before we conclude with prayer, 
I now invite Mrs. Carrolls to offer a few words. Mrs. Carrolls. Well, upper school students, this brings our 2019-2020 academic year to conclusion. Congratulations on your amazing efforts this year. It has been a real heartache to not have you on campus for the final three months of school, but I can't tell you how proud we are of the amazing work that you've done, your resiliency, your, your tremendous efforts, the seriousness of purpose with which you have continued your studies, and the amazing way in which you have connected to one another and continue to support each other in community. We are so grateful. The little um, slip of paper that one receives at the end of a course of study for completion of a school year at Stone Ridge reflects an enormous body of work. And we are so proud of you, so grateful for you, and really excited that you will have the summer ahead to rejuvenate, hopefully to pursue a lot of your interests and hobbies, to keep growing and learning, um, and to be ready for next year when we come back. I do wanna say a special word of gratitude to the faculty and staff um, of course, this has been an unbelievably challenging year to pivot into the virtual learning platform and your teachers have done phenomenal, phenomenal work. So I know that all of our students join me in saying a special word of gratitude to the teachers and to all of the staff at Stone Ridge for um, our team spirit and for the great work that we've accomplished together. We certainly hope that you too have a fantastic summer. To the class of 2020, I can't wait to celebrate with you. We very much look forward to your graduation and um, lifting you up for your tremendous leadership. And um, we know that you'll stay in touch. You have done such a phenomenal job of building community while you've been students here at Stone Ridge. And we know that just because you're graduating that that will not end. So to all of our students, congratulations. Awesome year, keep growing and learning and have a wonderful, wonderful summer. Enjoy. Thank you, Mrs. Carrolls. We will now conclude our academic year with prayer. This prayer is called Grace for the Journey. Hail Mary, full of grace. I long to walk like you, to accept the journey on which God has called me with trust and a calm heart, to acknowledge my fears, but then set them aside and follow God's call with a resounding yes, to proceed gently with confidence, greeting others with warmth along the way. Holy Mary, Mother of God, I seek your soul in the landscape around me and discern your voice in my fellow travelers. I forge ahead, praying unceasingly for the grace that clings to your very being. St. Madeline Sophie, pray for us. St. Rose Philippine Duchenne, pray for us. Janet Erskine Stewart, pray for us. And may the Sacred Heart of Jesus Inspire us and guide us all our days. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Upper School, have a wonderful and safe summer. We'll miss you.